Hi, starting with the 7th December uh, current affairs, first one is logistic exchange memorandum of agreement. This is taken from the article no big deals likely on US Defense Secretary Ashton Carter's uh, trip to India. Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement is a tweaked India-specific version of the Logic Support Agreement. Log Logistics Support Agreement is one of the three foundational agreements as referred to by the US. Now, foundational agreements include three agreements. The first deals with the logistics, it's called logistic support agreement. Second deals with the communication, it's called communication in interoperability and security memorandum of agreement. And third deals with the exchange of geospatial data and it's called basic exchange and cooperation for geospatial intelligence. And this foundational agreements are signed with signed by the countries, uh, sorry, signed by the US with the countries uh, with whom it has closer ties. Now the question might arise regarding the use of foundational agreements. You know, these foundational agreements are uh, meant to build the basic groundwork and also to promote interoperability between the militaries by creating the common standards and system. And you know, they also help in guiding the sale and transfer of high-end technologies between the countries. Now, what does signing of Logistic Exchange Memorandum of Agreement mean to India? You know, LEMOA gives access to the both the countries, you know, to, for, to the designated military facilities on either side for the purpose of refueling and replenishment. And, you know, India and US, uh, they, hold the la they hold a large number of exercises together and the payment process is usually a very long and tedious process. So, in ends to make it easier, there is new mechanism will be instituted for bookkeeping and payments and the officials who act as the nodal point of contact will be designated on the both the sides. Okay, so this agreement has two things. One is the access to the military facilities for refueling and replenishment and also there is a mechanism to institute the bookkeeping for to make the payment process easier. And the agreement cover the port calls, joint exercises, training and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. And also India can access not only the military facilities in the US but also the military facilities of the US in other countries too. And signing of this agreement does not mean that US can station its troops in India because this is not a basing, a basing agreement and India will not allow basing of any troops on the Indian soil. The next Next article is Mongolia seeks India support against blockade. This is regarding uh, the high hike in the tariffs by the China on the Mongolian trucks passing through the China. And this reaction by China is due to the religious visit by Dalai Lama to the Mongolia. And the Mongolia says that this hike in tariffs is uh, you know, likely to create humanitarian crisis as it will restrict the flow of essential commodities to the Mongolia. Now we can add one more point in the impact of demonetization is that the Russia is protesting against the cash crunch and it is saying that this demonetization is affecting the function of embassy. The next is Pradhan Moods uh, Asian Bias Forum to counter OPEC cloud. OPEC stands for Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. Minister of State for uh, Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan has come out with the idea of large Asian LNG buyers forum for two reasons. One is to negotiate more equitable trade deals and other is to balance the influence of the OPEC. This assumes significance as the ongoing increase in the oil prices are resulting in the adverse impact on the Indian exchequer and the government's commitment to, uh, for moving towards the gas-based economy. And large number of uh, Asian LNG buyers including India could uh, you know, benefit by uh, joining this forum. Since large number of LNG deals are linked to the oil prices, only those countries with the LNG herbs have prices lesser than the other countries. Therefore, Asian buyers pay higher price uh, 
join while buying the LNG since there is no LNG hub in Asia. Now what is OPEC? Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries is a group of oil producing nations that was first established in Baghdad in Iraq in 1961. OPEC is one of the most powerful international organization in the world and was a major player in the shift towards the state control over natural resources. And coming to the members of OPEC, you can uh, know these countries. And very other important thing is that there are two countries in South America which are members of OPEC, that is Venezuela and Ecuador. Uh, this might be asked in prelims, so remember these two countries. And another important thing is to you have to uh, know the seas uh, surrounding these countries. And that's it for today. If you have found this video useful, please like and subscribe to my channel and also give me your feedback. Thank you.